Today, I'm going to show you how to make a button through midi dress with a straight neckline. Midi dresses are one of the most versatile pieces that suit all ages and all body types. It's a classic piece I like to have in my closet because I really like how I can wear it on any day and any time during the week. Looking formal with a jacket or even casual with a t-shirt underneath. Currently, this button detailing micro trend is everywhere. You can see it on tops, skirts and dresses at Zara or H&M. The combination of a midi dress and buttons is effortlessly enduring. I have a mustard coloured piece, but one is never enough and instead of buying more, I thought of trying to make it myself. I will share how I style the completed dress at the end of the video, so keep watching. And here's how you can create yours in this step-by-step -step tutorial. Let's get started. Here are the materials that you need. Buttons, fabric, matching thread, thread clipper, dressmaker pins, fabric scissors, sewing machine, and needle. Before we start sewing, do a final check if you have this pattern part. You can find the measurements on my blog. Front patterns for top and bottom. Back patterns for top and the bottom, which is a full piece. Two button plackets for the front on each side, left and right, that covers from top to bottom. I added interfacing to mine as it's a neat fabric and I want to keep it from stretching out of place and also to strengthen the fabric as that's where the button holes are going to be sewn. Two shoulder straps that go from front to back. Four rectangular pieces for pocket bags. Facing pieces to finish the fabric edges. I added an inverted box pleat on each side on the front and the back and that's the first thing I will sew. Once I'm done with the front two pieces, I will continue with the back. Next, I will sew pocket bags and finish it with a French seam method to avoid raw edges. On the right side of your fabric, mark the pocket opening. Make sure you have enough space for your hand to slip in. Sew 1cm below the mark and 0.5cm from the edge all around. Turn the fabric out. You can press the edge using iron, then pin it before sewing 0.7cm from the edge all around. Once done, sew the pockets to the side seams of dress bottom. There are several ways to sew inseam pockets, but this method of installing French seam pockets is the easiest for me. You have a functional pocket once completed, do it for the other side as well. To avoid the pocket from moving around, I sew the pocket to the front piece. I finish it up by joining the side seams of the front and back bottoms. I move on to sew the top pieces, starting with the princess seams on the front, then on the back. After which, I sew the two sides of the top. Remember to press open your seams. I prefer to do it together after the sides are attached. To attach the shoulder straps, I fold the top and bottom to the center, pin the strap in place and sew on the edges. You can also use the piping cord method to turn out the strap for a cleaner look. Measure the length of your strap before sewing them in place. I finish the top edges with facing so it's much cleaner. You can trace the facing pieces off the front and like what I did for the top, sew up the princess seams and connect the side seams. Stitch the facing onto the top edge with the right sides of the fabric together. To keep the facing firmly on the inside, I'm going to understitch the facing to the seam allowance. Open the facing out and make sure the seam allowance is underneath the facing. Each stitch 2mm from the seam you have already sewn. I added lining pieces to the facing for the inner of the dress. You can exclude it if your fabric is not see-through and comfortable enough. I finish the hem by turning up 3cm from the edge and tuck 1cm raw edge into the hem. To attach the front button placket, I place the strip along the front seam of the top and sew along the entire length. Make sure the right side of placket faces the wrong side of bodies. Fold the placket over and tuck the seam allowances inside the placket. Top stitch the placket down and top stitch the other side of the placket at 3mm from edge. I'm using a domestic machine to sew the button holes. Mark the placement of the button holes with a tailor's chalk. My first buttonhole is 1cm from the top edge and 6cm apart for the subsequent buttonholes. 
Buttonholes are on the right back opening and buttons are sewn on the left back opening. I set my stitch length and start sewing. Continue the process for all buttonholes. Use a seam ripper or thread clipper to cut open the buttonholes. Before attaching the button, place the right back opening over the left one to mark its position. I attach the button first before opening the buttonhole as I've marked its placement beforehand but always play safe and check before sewing the button. Lastly, I attach the remaining buttons and the dress is completed. You can find more technical details such as the length of the dress on my blog hchurly.com I didn't include them otherwise this video is going to be like an hour long. So I spent about $25 in total for this project and about half a day to sew it out. Okay, it's quite time consuming but I'm really satisfied with how the dress turned out and this is how I styled the dress. Thank you all so much for watching my first tutorial. I have done some videos in the past with my good friend. We tried recreating Victoria's Secrets, lingerie, fruity headbands and even Louis Vuitton inspired lampshades but we never got around to share them. Maybe one day I will do a throwback. But in the meantime, I have more exciting DIY tutorials coming out so don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!